Now on this channel, you've seen us do all kinds of fixturing, from single station vices running one part at a time, to custom multi-level fixtures running multiple parts at one time. But you may not have the time or the machine capacity to make your own custom fixtures. Well today, I'm gonna show you a brand new fixture that's gonna help you maximize your machine capabilities. This is the Shunk KSC Mini Pyramid. As you can see, we've got six vices instead of just one. Now you've probably seen us use a larger pyramid in the past. That is a three station pyramid meant for the larger KSC vices. This one is specific for the KSC Mini vice. Now the ones that's mounted on this is the 7080 vices, which means they're 70 millimeters wide, by 80 millimeters long. So it's not for a very large part. But as you can see, we can get six parts instead of just one. When you step up to a five axis machine, your whole mindset about fixturing has to change. If you're only running one part at a time, then you're really concerned with how am I gonna rotate this in order to get to as many sides as possible. But by utilizing advanced fixturing, we not only can reach multiple sides at once, we also can do it with multiple parts. Now this is extremely important in today's world because not only are you saving time with part changeover, you're also saving a lot of time when it comes to tool changes because one tool can come in, run all six parts before it has to change to the next tool. And if you're only running one part at a time and it has something like a four minute cycle time, you're really not giving your operator any time to be able to walk away and do anything else. But if you can run six parts at once and increase that cycle time up to 20 minutes, well now your operator is gonna be able to go and run another machine. And that's gonna split your labor costs between two machines instead of just one. Now the KSC mini vices have a very low profile design, which is allowing Shunk to get six vices on such a small pyramid without them all interfering with each other. The top vices are at a 25 degree angle and they're spaced 120 degrees apart. And likewise, the bottom vices are at a 90 degree angle and 120 degrees apart. Now, something I really like about these KSC mini vices is that they have a quick jaw system. Now, if I look at the back side of the jaw, they've got these grooves here that slide onto the carriage. And once you have the jaws on, they just snap in with this spring plunger. And that's what holds them into place. So all I gotta do is line the jaw up, slide it on, and it snaps right into place. Now I can see that I can't get that off. Now if you wanna change the jaws out, all you gotta do is slide them back forward, and it pops right off. Now when it comes to mounting this to the machine, you can either make your own riser, or you can mount this directly to the Vero S single station pallet. Now if we take a look at the bottom, we see that we have the center bore for the mounting stud for the Vero S system. And you also have a precision hole over here, which is for the locating pin. Mounting this to something like the Vero S system is really gonna come in handy if you've got a pallet pull or some type of robot automated loading system. That's gonna result in a lot less downtime and keep your machine running longer. All right, that's enough explanation. I'm ready to see this thing run, so let's get some jaws mounted to these vices, get this thing put in the machine, and start making some parts. So since we're setting up for a production environment, I've got a lot of these parts to run. I need to set up a vice stop. And since my material is longer than my vice, I didn't really see anything on the market that I really liked. So I decided to design my own. And with the help of Donnie and the Swiss, we knocked it out pretty quick. So I made six of these stops. This piece is gonna thread into the jaw itself. And then we can actually slide this back and forth and then this pin can slide back and forth as well. That way it can accommodate different material sizes. So I'm gonna mount this to the first vise and then we're gonna repeat this process for all six parts. 
If you need tooling and fixturing like I'm using in this video, then be sure to check out titansofcnctooling.com. There, you're gonna find the best prices on all of this equipment. I don't care who you are that was awesome we just took a four minute cycle time up to 25 minutes by running six parts at a time instead of just one and you know if you're running production and you're only running one part at a time that's going to take forever to get that job done and you're going to waste a whole lot of time there but this pyramid running six at a time is a very good way to get some utilization out of your machine and keep that machine running and i'm really loving the design of this fixture because even though we're running six parts in a very compact design, the low profile KSA Mini is allowing us to have a lot of clearance. And it's really not too tall for our machine. And you can easily see that the angle that the vices are on, we have plenty of clearance between each part. So it didn't really feel cramped when the tools was coming in on each part. And I really wasn't worried about them hitting the part next to it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like and subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this pyramid. We'll see y'all next time.